Hey everybody, I'm Rocky. I'm Sarah. And with our powers combined, we are Savage Disney Pins. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here we talk about all things Disney with a focus on Disney pins. Yes. And you've come at a most magical time. <laughs> Today is the most special day of the week, Sarah. Do you know what day it is? Pins Day Plus! Pins Day Plus means that Sarah got pins and some other stuff. I did, I got some other stuff today that I'm really, really stoked about. So this first trade I did was actually with a fellow YouTuber. They found our channel and then connected with me on Facebook and we were able to work out a trade. So their channel is Snowy Reviews. Snowy Reviews. I'll link them down below. I appreciate a good name that could also be used as an adjective. Aww. Yeah, he told me that I was his uh, third online trade. So he wrote a little note that says, thanks for being my third trade. So that's awesome. Again, you can check out their channel down below. If you want to trade with Sarah, look her up on Instagram, at Savage Disney Pins. Yes. Uh, because it is Snowy's third time doing a pin trade, that means that Snowy has three times the experience in pin trading that I do. So we traded for this Minnie and Mickey glow in the dark. They're like flying out on the broom. Isn't that cute? And like Minnie's like looking behind, like she's got everything in control and Mickey's like, ha ha, save me. <laughs> That's what that face is. Oh, I thought it was determination trying to catch the golden snitch. Um, wrong intellectual property. Wrong park, go home. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome trade, thank you very much. This next one is a fantasy pin that I bought and it is from at pin underscore pin underscore situation. I will link her Instagram down below. This was her first fantasy pin Ooh. and it turned out good. I was very, very excited about it. So Onward came out, we all love Onward. COVID hit, Onward didn't get the appreciation in the theaters that it truly deserved. But it got a sweet popcorn bucket. Huh? I was so excited about this. Look at the headlights turn on and off. And, and they're sitting inside the cockpit there. <laughs> a little Guinevere that fits on our shelf. Yes, yeah. And there's not a lot of pins for Onward. Mm -mm. So a lot of fantasy pin makers have been making Onward pins. And she made this one and it has Ian and Barley hanging out, eating Dole Whips. And uh, Ian has a couple Mickey balloons hanging off his backpack. I love it so much. Isn't that cute? Wow, that's that's an incredible first uh, attempt at a pin. That is really detailed. The artwork yeah. is great. Yeah, I think she may have done one or two more. I got this a while back. Definitely check out her Instagram page for her fantasy pins. Pin mail number three. I also have had this, I've been holding onto this for a while. Ooh, sorry. Um, this was a pin trade I did with another fellow YouTuber, um, Cameron, over at Day Tripping Disney. Again, we will link them down below, so go check them out. They do a whole bunch of park vlogs and some pin unboxings and things like that. So definitely go check them out. They're also gonna be part of a box swap that we're gonna be taking part of um, in October. So super stoked about that. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pin that they wanted. That's how trades normally work. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to remember what it was at this point, I don't remember. I think it was from the iCollect series. They didn't have anything that I was looking for in a trade, but she offered to purchase one of the upcoming online releases um, for me in lieu of a trade. So I picked out the pin that I wanted in the trade and then once she received it, then we did the full trade. Oh my God, that was like a whole lot of talking. It was quite the journey for one pin. It uh, Well, we did other trades too. Oh, cool. There are other trades in here. So she put a little note, Sarah, thank you so much for finding my Toy Story guys. Glad we could help each other out. The Toy Story guys that she's referencing are the Wishables 
Buzz and Alien. She opened a bunch of packages of them, didn't get those, really wanted those two. So we, I found them for her um, and we treated for those. So I got a little Sven in return nice. and a Simba. Oh, he's big. Which, he is really big. And I have this set. Ugh. Had. It's gone forever now. <laughs> Bye. So I have this set. This is the Simba from the Wisdom set that came out at uh, the Disney stores in 2019. But I have the set still on its backer card, like in a binder. So I'm actually really excited about this because I can put this on my Lion King board. So the other pin we traded was the Enchanted Emblem. And it's got some of the lyrics that Ursula sings around the edge. She's casting her spell. Yes. And then the shell that she captures Ariel's voice in. And then, oh, she's such a baddie. On the back side, um, she's, oh God, she looks so evil in this one. Quite menacing indeed. These are really cool. I needed two of this. So I was able to get this one from Shop Disney for myself, but I needed a second one. For your little mermaid board. For my little mermaid board. You've surprised no one. Right. <laughs> Well, thank you, Cameron, again for the trade and go check out their channel, um, Day Tripping Disney. Next, this was a Facebook trade. And guess what? It's pins? It's pins. But they're pins that complete my set. Oh, it's been a, it's been a grip since we've done a completer dance. Do the completer dance. It's a completed dance. This set's complete. Um, so these are two pins from the Happiness is Mystery Box set that came out just a couple months ago. Oh, so you've unlocked the key to happiness. You've got them all. You've got all the things for happiness. Yes. So yay finishes that set. I am still looking for... <laughs> one of them was a Haunted Mansion one. So I found the one for the set. Now I need the Haunted Mansion one to go on my Haunted Mansion board. Of course you do. Next package. Now time for the plus portion of this Penn State Plus. Regular envelopes. Oh, I've got to guess at what these are. Are they Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards? They are! Oh, I just got excited about stuff in this yes. video. Okay, do you want to open these? I do. Okay. <laughs> to add another trading group to everything, not only am I in pin trading groups and wishables trading groups, but I'm also in Sorcerer of the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card trading groups. We are currently working on finishing our base collection. So if you've ever played the game before, you will see that each card has little numbers in the bottom and they are numbers one through 70. Numbers 61 through 70 are pretty hard to obtain, uh, but number one through 61, no 60, um, are free cards that you can get to play the game in the park. Well, there's also a at home version that you can play. So we are trying to complete two full sets so that Rocky and I each have a deck of cards. In the not too distant future, we will be releasing a video on how to play both in the park and at home. So what do we get? The first one is Eevee, Laser Blast. Cute. She oh. is, oh, this is one of the rare cards you can get in the starter packs. Oh, uh, I number believe, five? I believe one through 10 or one through 15, I'll I have think, to look it up. I think 15. Are more rare and more powerful than the rest of the common cards, but her stats are five energy attack and one energy boost for a total of six points on one card. That's a good card. If the darkness you must face Bring laser beams from outer space. So the first one is a more common card. It is Cinderella's Magical Ribbon, which is cool. A villain may be loath to think that he's berry boned all in pink. That's what I've always said. And then a most intimidating card. It's the Woozle's Woozle Nightmare. We've all had these once or twice in our lives and 
It's a terrifying thing I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Tiny Kingdom! Yeah. Which series? Uh, I think it's series two from Walt Disney World. If you hadn't checked out our unboxing video for series three, we just did one of those and I'll link it right here. First, we traded for a hidden Mickey. So I got the figment, uh, like pot of gold, rainbow hidden Mickey. So then I got two of the series two at Tiny Kingdom pins from Walt Disney World. So this is the spitting camel from- uh, Magic uh, Carpet Ride from Carpet Dumbo. And then this one is the Hall of Presidents. So yeah, kind of cool. Excited about that. Okay, time for another installment of um, Pins Day Plus. I'm starting to get terrified that I'm going to be in the crosshairs of your crosshairs, your plus symbol. Okay, I had to open these and then I gotta get them in bags like quickly. Mm. so that they don't smell like smoke. So what does that mean? Wishables. Yay! Okay, so this was a trade with Alexis from the Wishables Trading Group. So it's a little bit Alexis. And this first one is the open edition from the Christmas series that came out last year. It's a little toy soldier. A little toy soldier. Um, I didn't need this one, but she needed three of mine, so. Trade's thought, a trade. Yeah. Um, we have actually shown this one in a different video, but this is the little butterfly from the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival from earlier this year. And then the last one, look at him. This might be the cutest wishable I've ever seen. Right? Little Sven, he's adorable. Look at his little face. He's real, real cute. Reindeers are better than people. Yeah. So thank you, Alexis, that was an awesome trade. One more package. Don't threaten me with it, let's see it. You can open it. Oh, can I? Did I get a pen? It says, you've got mail. This, I, is this a Snow Queen Brie? Mm -hmm. Man, she is just, she owns this community. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for trading with me. Happy trading, Carrie. She's got a happy dwarf sticker. I feel like, People are either telling me that I need to be happier or that I am happy. I don't know which one, but this is like the fifth person to send me this sticker. One thing I know from experience is people love being told they need to smile more. I got an Olaf sticker. What'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you so get, what'd you get? the first pin I got is this Red Squadron X-Wing pin. It's awesome, it's pin on pin. The angle is three dimensional and the X-Wing is coming right out at you. That is awesome. The next pin is an Epcot pin, which I have not seen this series before. It's got a bit of a weathered look with uh, like a clear blue finish over the Waves logo. The next pin is an amazing Gaston pin. I'm not sure what the series is. Do you know what this yeah, is? Yeah, it's a mystery box set. It's Beauty and the Beast mystery box set. I think there were maybe 10 or 12 pins in it. That's the only one that I wanted. Yeah, this one's awesome, and it will likely go on my Gaston board, which I have three Gastons now? Yeah, three. It's a little growing collection. And the last, are you kidding me? What is it, Rocky? What'd I you get? I got, I, I don't think I got anything, Sarah. What did you get, Rocky? For me? It's for you. I haven't gotten one in a while. Well, we have like a couple weeks. So long. <laughs> oh God. Yay. Okay, so I got a Space Mountain cutie. That was the fourth pin we traded for. Just when I was starting to like Carrie. Definitely an awesome pins day plus day. Got some new wishables, got some new sorcerers cards. Got a whole bunch of pins. Thank you everybody for the trade and the purchases. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, hit that like button down below. We've got loads of content. Lots of new stuff coming out. Yeah, so make sure to hit subscribe as well. Yep. Until next time, everybody, stay savage. Bye. Bye.
Beluga Suvruga come winds of the Caspian Sea. Laryngix Glocitis Saint Max Laryngitis et voc to me. I know is the lyrics from the song, but I don't know them. <laughs> uh, anyway, can we cut that part out? Hmm. 